Alright guys, this was a requested video. Uh, Marauder wanted to see what the San Francisco 49er Stadium looked like in the new mod. The 2014 mod, and here it is. At the center of the field we have a farewell season tribute, 1971 to 2013. And it looks like these diamonds represent Super Bowl rings. We have five diamonds there. The San Francisco 49ers have won five Super Bowls. It doesn't appear that they've changed any field textures in the new mod. Um, I think you will have to still go to the text mod if you want to use the updated field textures and updated billboards and stuff. But they've done a very decent job regardless. And uh, yeah, it's too bad the 49ers have to leave this stadium. A lot of memories here for Niners fans. Nothing else has really changed. Besides the center logo. And as a farewell tribute to the Niners, uh, this game I had some pretty good highlights I wanted to show you. There's one thing about this particular play I don't like, but I'm going to show you what I do like about the play, as well as what I don't like. First of all, great blocking as always. You can't find that in Madden 25, decent, good blocking. And as I step up in the pocket, I'm going to lob the pass because I know there's no safety or linebacker in the middle of the field as he moved Thomas moved just before after the snap as you'll see Thomas on the left right here as soon as he shifted over I knew I already knew where I was going see how he's shifting yep I already got it in my head I'm already gonna start stepping back anticipating the coverage watch how I step up step up beautiful now here's what I whether well, see how high the pass is too and Bolden's a big wide receiver. He's going to go up and catch it. Now, I don't like the fact 39 didn't fight for the ball. And that's a problem that's been plaguing the series forever. But nothing's perfect, right? Now, these next couple plays might be painful for Niners fans as they will have a pretty bad reminder of what happened. I thought, well, this is a video game. I can test Sherman. Sure, I can. So I go deep. Yeah, how in the hell? What? The, how did he come up with it? Well, we're going to find out. I throw this pass on the money. I throw this pass absolutely on the money. And yet it still comes up in Sherman's hands. Look at where this ball is placed. Triple coverage. Crabtree's got to make this catch. Off his arms. And of course Sherman's going to pick it off because he's a 98 overall. I thought it was really ironic that I had a play like this come up in the game. Look at this. Look at this play. Does that look familiar to Niners fans? Oh boy. I'm sorry, Niners fans. But this is so eerily, eerily similar I had to show this play. Sherman tips the ball and into the hands of his buddy, Thomas. Saints fans might want to turn away for this one. Although I don't he doesn't score on this play. It sure looked a lot like that one play in the Saints game. First of all, amazing wide receiver blocking here and awareness by Harvin, which I'll get into. But does that does that play look somewhat familiar? What happened to that Saints game in that Saints game? Look at the blocking by Harvin here. He takes out Rodgers, and he's not done there. He can't get to the the guy closest to Lynch, but Lynch is gonna juke, get through these two guys. Now, he can't quite get the angle on the guy right here, but Lynch is going to take care of him with a stiff arm, going beast mode here. But Harvin goes and takes out the, another guy. Look at that. That is just good awareness and stuff. something that we won't see in Madden 25 on a consistent basis. Really is sad, guys. Great blocking here. Great blocking. Sometimes I think the blocking is too good in this game. Look at the blocks in this in this play. Look at this. Amazing blocking in every, in every situation. Everybody's going to just get their guy. Everybody has an assignment and they stick to it. Even though 60 almost loses his contain there. Miller just takes out his guy and then he goes after another guy. This guy comes in and just... Look at that, man. That's just beautiful. Sometimes I, I think it's too much, but that's perfection. You guys remember one of the first videos I ever made? Um, this is a play that I, I did at the end of that video. Exactly the same play, exactly the same result. Goal line. I'm able to throw the ball high. 
Again, a tall wide receiver can always go. Look at this, 91 trying to get it. He does play the ball. That's just a beautiful play. Puts me ahead. I give up a touchdown to the Seahawks, so I'm down again. But, luckily we have the Michael James back there. Whoop! Nobody's going to catch him with that speed. Too much speed. This play should have iced the game, but unfortunately it didn't. Nice fumble here. And he, he causes the fumble, and he scoops it, but he doesn't quite score. And I ended up turning it over on the next play with a pick. But this is a great... Man, I just love this game. If you guys can't see the beauty of this game by now. And look at that. He just forces the fumble. He's like, oh, now it's on the ground. I'm going to go get it. Almost scoop and score. Here is the play that did ice the game. Carlos Rogers, the user pick here. Man, the user control, I swear, in this game, it, it's, it's just so user-friendly. Great pick here to ice the game. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this farewell tribute to the Niners. Hopefully they'll have success in their new stadium.